Kraken M22 is an all-in-one 120mm liquid cooler. Because the M22 is a closed loop system, you'll never need to add or replace the coolant. In the box you will find the Kraken M22 with a pre-installed Intel retention bracket, a second bracket for AMD sockets, a universal backplate, screws, spacers, thumb springs, washers, a mini USB cable, thermal paste, and an NZXT Air P 120mm fan. All you would need for a new installation is a Phillips head screwdriver. If you're replacing an existing CPU cooler, you'll need rubbing alcohol and a clean, lint-free cloth to remove any previous applied thermal paste. The universal backplate is used with most Intel AMD CPU sockets. Locate the four standoff screws and four M2 screws, which will be the smaller of the shorter screws. The bracket will have a recess on one side, which will allow the M2 screws to be flush with the bracket. Locate the installation location for the CPU socket you have and install the four standoff screws. Be sure not to over tighten or you may damage the backplate. For installation on Intel socket 115X CPUs, attach the standoff screws at these points. And for any AMD installations, attach the standoff screws here or here based on your CPU. Insert the backplate onto the back of the motherboard and add the provided spacers. If there is thermal paste on the CPU from a previously installed fan, use a few drops of rubbing alcohol and a clean cloth to remove the old thermal paste. If you're installing the M22 on an AMD CPU, you'll need to change the mounting bracket. Pull on the sides of the current bracket and slide it out of the slots on the pump. Then gently slide the AMD bracket in its place. Apply a pea-sized drop of provided thermal paste on the center of the CPU. Align the holes in the retention bracket with the standoffs and lower the M22 onto the CPU. It's best to keep the pump head as level as you can so the thermal paste spreads evenly. Using the plastic washers and supplied thumb nuts with springs, secure the Kraken to the motherboard. Do not over tighten the thumb screws or you may damage the CPU and the motherboard. The springs should not be fully compressed. We recommend mounting the radiator in one of two places. To mount the radiator in the back of your rig, attach the NCXT Air P fan to the radiator with a 30mm screw and metal washers, making sure the airflow on the fan shows air moving into the radiator and out of the back. Then use the 5mm screws with metal washers on the outside of the case to mount the radiator to your system. If mounting to the front of your case, attach the NZXT Air P fan to the radiator, making sure the airflow arrow on the fan shows air pulling air from the radiator and into your PC. Then use the 5mm screws with the metal washers to mount the radiator. Connect the 3 pin pump power cable, which is attached to the radiator, to the 4 pin CPU fan header, all in one header, or water pump header on the motherboard. Then connect the mini USB cable to the Kraken and an internal USB 2.0 header on the motherboard. Finally, connect the Air P fan into the CPU fan header or the system fan header. Turn on your PC and download CAM at the camwebapp.com. Once installed, you use CAM to set up the RGB lighting effects and monitor your PC, including the CPU temperature. Thank you for watching Builder's Workshop. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more installation videos and be sure to visit nzxt.com for more information about our products.